intro nice and short, I was asked how I prepare my minis for painting. So I thought it'd be really useful to show you what I do. So I picked up this engine seer. It's gonna be for a friend's birthday. Let's have a look at what I do to prepare it. First thing I do is I get out my tools. Scalpel, hobby knife, whatever it is. Make sure it's nice and sharp. Gonna need that. I, I use a certain little scraping tool from time to time. These are really useful, but non-essential. You can use the back of your hobby knife, not a problem, but if you got it, use it. A pair of nice, sharp tweezers. Absolutely indispensable for getting hold of those little small finicky parts. Now a nice, flat, high grit, flexible, soft sanding board. Nicked this from a wife and a good pair of hobby snippers. I cannot tell you how important these are. Nice sharp tip. These are Citadel again. They are really, really good. Expensive, but brilliant. A pair of needle nose pliers, always useful. A pin vise, I can't recommend one of these enough. I use them for drilling out barrels of guns and for putting in small holes for mounting my components to the painting handles. A nice soft brush for cleaning away any debris. And of course, glue. Now these are both plastic cement, a direct nozzle version and a brush on version. Both have the uses. And of course, a little bit of super glue. Some blue tack are similar, absolutely indispensable. Grab some of that. Some paper clips. Can't beat the wire in those. And of course, some painting handles or corks. Either work, both have their place in this project. Okay, let's have a look at the sprue. So, having a quick look at it, like I say, it's the engines here, and I can see straight away that it's going to be a couple of sub-assemblies. Now, not everybody likes to paint in sub-assemblies. I do. Just at a quick glance, there's a couple of small finicky parts. I'm definitely going to get those glued on, and I'm probably going to paint the body, the backpack, and the arms and the axe separate. So let's see how we'd go about doing that. Let me take a moment just to ask you to subscribe if you are enjoying these videos and you do get some value from them. I'd really appreciate it. Right, let's get some wire. We're gonna use these to mount our sub-assemblies to the cork. So I just straighten the paper clip out, nice and easy, using fingers. Then I'm gonna get my hobby knife, scalpel, whatever your sharp implement is. And I'm gonna cut away from myself on my hobby mat, just slicing the top layer of plastic off and then simply peeling the wire out. Couldn't be easier. Much simpler than any other method I found, to be honest. There we go. Right, we've got the wire. Next thing we need to do is to cut the parts off of the sprue. Now, if you've not done this before, or you're new to the hobby, don't make the mistake that a lot of people make. Clip with the flat side of the clippers down, as flat as you can against the mini, but try and leave a little bit of the sprue attached to it. It's much easier to clean off and you'll get a much cleaner, sharper finish if you do that after, rather than trying to get the smallest amount of material possible off in one go. Also, you run much less risk of damaging the model taking it out of the sprue. Just clip around, take your time here and get all the parts off. In this case, it's not a huge problem for me because I know where everything goes, but on larger models where you are following the instructions, only clip the parts that you need. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is just make sure everything's okay. I've not damaged anything as I've been clipping it off and I've got all the parts required. So check against the parts list if you've got one or something like this, it's nice and small, easy to do. Next thing to do is to dry fit parts together. Just figure out how the model goes together and look at those sub assemblies that we talked about earlier. Are we right? Do we need to revise what we were planning? Yes or no? Okay, let's clean the parts that we've got out. So I'm gonna use my hobby snippers and I'm going to clean as much of the remaining plastic where it was attached to the screw, at sprue off as I can. Then taking my hobby knife, I'm going to cut away the little bits of nubbins. Being very careful here. Um, now I know this is not best practice to be cutting into my finger, but I've been doing this a while. Uh, I still do cut myself, but having a nice sharp blade really helps here. I know it seems counterintuitive, but the sharper the blade, the less likely you are to hurt yourself. And then I very lightly, literally using the weight of the blade, scratch against the surface of the plastic, peeling back 
small layers at the time. It's much easier to remove little and often than it is to gouge out a massive chunk because then you can't put it back and you end up having to mess about with the green stuff to fill in the damage that you've caused. Now just have a good look around the miniature and find any of the mold lines where it was injected into the mold. The great thing about the new Citadel models, there's not very many of them or a lot of them are in places where you wouldn't really see them, you don't have to take every single one off. This is only down to you as an individual and what matters to you. I'm pretty thorough and I like to get everything off of there, but you know, if it's on the underside of something where you're not going to see unless you are into the model in a very odd way, then you probably don't need to do it. If it's for a competition, that's one thing, but for general day-to-day -day gaming, just do what you need to do, whatever you feel happy with. I do tend to put a little bit more effort in around connection points just to make sure I get a nice snug fit and the model does look nice. Then pick up my brush and I do this quite often. I brush the entire model down and get rid of any bits of plastic, any dust that's kind of built up on there. So it gives me a really good understanding of how the model is going to fit together. So we've been around all of its components. We've cleaned everything up. I gave everything a final brush down and just fit everything together dry fit again just to make sure I was happy with how it was all going to be before we move to the next stage. Have a good look around the model, make sure you're absolutely happy with it, you know what's going to go on when you actually glue them together because bearing in mind you can't undo that step, not particularly easily anyway. And the next thing to do is to glue the sub-assemblies together. So what you see me doing here is using my brush on polystyrene cement and I'm just applying a little bit, not too much. We don't want it to splurge out and cause any damage to the mini. Just offering the two halves up together and holding the two parts together for a few moments while the glue starts to set. Just making sure that there's no glue escaping from the join. And simply repeat this step for your remaining sub-assemblies. Okay, so let's mount our sub-assemblies to our painting handles or cork. What I'm doing is I'm just going to cut a little bit of sprue from the frame that we took as mini from and we'll see here in the middle of the backpack there's a very convenient hole that's not used for anything we're not going to damage it so what I'm going to do is glue a little bit of plastic to that to make a nice mounting point. A little bit of plastic cement on there, pop it inside this will easily snap off later, won't interfere with how it connects to the model and it makes it really easy to access all of the detail on this. Can be a little bit finicky so just let it join for a couple of seconds hold it in place and then glue it to a spare 25 millimeter base now for the arms this is a little bit different we're going to use that pin bite vice we looked at earlier so what i'm going to do is just in the shoulder i'm going to brace it against my fingers and i'm going to drill a small hole being very careful not to drill all the way through the plastic we only need like a couple of millimeters in here Definitely don't want to go too far, but if you do go too far, in this instance, it's not going to matter because the actual top of the shoulder isn't visible because it slots into the body. So you could go all the way through if you wanted to. Just be very careful and when you're dry fitting the model together, be sure to really understand how the mini does go together. Okay, so we're going to use a little bit more wire from those paper clips. I snip one in roughly half and then using my needle nose pliers, I'm going to bend the little bit of wire into a L shape, just using a little bit of force to bend it. We don't need to go excessively in there and we're going to glue that into the hole using a little bit of super glue. Now obviously because we're going metal to plastic there's no point in using polystyrene cement. So all I do is I put the tip into the super glue bottle, into the arm and then let it dry for a second or so and then again I use my needle nose pliers just to drive that paper clip into a cork. And that's it guys. It really is that simple. Unfortunately, there's no hard and fast rules for the type of sub-assemblies as each mini is different, but give it a go. Once you've done a couple, it becomes much easier to visualize what the sub-assemblies are and how that fits in with your style of painting. If you did get some value from this video, then please do leave me a thumbs up. If you know anybody else that might, please do share it on your socials. I would appreciate it. Well guys, until next week, I guess the only thing that's left to be said is if you're gonna do crack, make sure it's plastic. See ya.